Hey, Michelle Cedarberg here once again out for a morning walk with Isla, multitasking by creating a video for all of, all of you. Uh, this week I want to talk about how difficult it is to just stop working when holidays come or when you've got time off. I've spoken to no less than three people this past week who are saying how difficult it has been for them to just set work aside and enjoy their holiday time. Two of them entrepreneurs and one of them who is doing a staycation who works for a company here in Calgary and just saying how hard it is to stop. Uh, and I guess that's not surprising and you can think of it a little, a little bit uh, like a productivity hangover. You've been working so hard and putting in the hours and digging in and, and feeling the stress and, and all of that fatigue and then all of a sudden you stop. Well, your mind and body all of a sudden goes, I don't know what to do with myself. Well, here's the thought. Listen to what your mind and body are asking for. Interestingly, as an entrepreneur, sometimes I don't feel the need or the desire to take the holiday because I'm excited about the work that I'm doing. But there are times when I'm definitely at the end of my rope with fatigue and travel now that that's back and realizing, you know what, I just need to step away. So listen to your body because you could be saying, you know, I've got the time off, but this is a perfect opportunity for me to dig into product, uh, projects that I normally don't have time for. And you can be excited about that. Or you can say, you know what, I really need to just prioritize myself and my family and fun. So listen to your body. Do as Isla says, you know, maybe go for a swim in the river. Such a nut bar. I'm off to Nashville this week. I'm on holidays next week. You're going to be seeing some interesting things in the inbox while I'm gone. But in the meantime, think about whether you are experiencing a productivity hangover. If you need to work, give yourself grace. Maybe you give yourself an hour in the morning to check your emails and do a little bit of stuff before everybody else wakes up and then allow yourself to be in holiday mode when the rest of the family's kicking in. Maybe you decide that I'm going to do a pure no work weekend. That's a good thing. I talk about work life balance. It's absolutely doable. Think about the ways that you can creep it in. I know that the need to work feels urgent at times, but I'm tr I, trust me when I say, and you can check last week's video, set your out of office messages, create the right kinds of environment to be able to step away and then enjoy some restorative, relaxing holiday time. The sunny weather is here. The river is calling. Isla wants my full attention. <laughs> so until next time, I'm Michelle Cedarberg reminding you, you've got one chance to do this life. I say dare to live it big and dare to embrace a little bit of a productivity hangover, even if it feels awkward for just a while. It's holidays. Grab a cocktail. Go sit in the sunshine. You got this.